Hello everyone and welcome back to Drama Made Simple. Today we're going to be talking about one of Uta Hagen's object exercises. This is a series on this channel where we go through all of the different object exercises and different videos about Uta Hagen as well. So if you want to see those other videos, I will have them linked for you down below. They don't necessarily need to be done in order, but it kind of helps. So perhaps you might want to consider checking out the earlier videos first. If you don't know who Uta Hagen is, she was an American actress and, and teacher, and she wrote a book called Respect for Acting, which explains her version of method acting or Stanislavski system, her sort of adaptation of it. In it, she regales 10 object exercises that all actors can use as sort of a way to improve your acting and get started with acting as well. Her book, Respect for Acting, can be found on Amazon or Audible, and I have an affiliate link for Audible down below, which basically means if you want to try out Audible, I will get a small reward from the link in the description down below. So you can use that 30-day trial to get a free credit and check out Uta Hagen's book, Respect for Acting. This exercise is called Three Entrances, and it basically has the purpose to try to make your entrance on stage more authentic because often people waiting in the wings, they can get nervous, they are going through their lines and rehearsing and when they come on stage, it's either that they were almost barely noticed because they sort of sneak onto the stage and try not to take away from the action on stage or they make a grand entrance which takes away completely from the other actors on stage. So this is trying to find a real balance of entering a scene. So the same way that when you enter a room in your home, there is no, you know, sneaking in or a grand explosion. So it's trying to find that proper balance of an appropriate entrance. So the three entrances are, you know, her way of describing the three things to consider when you're entering. One, what did you do before this? Two, what are you doing now? And three, what do I want to do when I get on stage? So into the room that you're entering into. For example, let's say that you have just come from outside. So this is the past. You've come from the street and there's tons of pollution outside, bad smells, people smoking in your face and you know, that's where you've just come from. What's happening right now is you're, you know, taking a look at your hair and your clothes and you're, you know, realizing that you have the scent of the city on you and that's just really unappealing. So that's what you're noticing as you're coming in is that sort of city stink and that not nice kind of feeling. And then three, what is the first thing you want to do? Maybe you want to go over to your dresser and get some perfume to freshen up or change your outfit or something like that. So that way you will have more of a clear purpose going on stage and you'll have an, a full understanding of the journey from the previous scene in your character's life that's not shown on stage onto the next part of the play that happens to include your character. So you should rehearse something similar to this. Perhaps if you've done the previous exercise, two minutes of your life on stage, you could add this on to that exercise. So find an entrance for your character that makes sense. This would be a great way to try out this exercise. The next couple of videos on this channel will be similarly working on Uta Hagen's object exercises. So if you want to see those, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when those videos are uploaded. And I will see you in the next video.